Uh, Senator Hagel, uh, congratulations on your appointment. You're a good, honest man, and I really uh, appreciate your willingness to serve the country in the past and Sanji. be willing to do so in the future. Um, what percentage of GDP do we spend on defense? Well, uh, we're, um, I think, uh, it's probably 5 percent now in that area, and our budget, our discretionary budget is... Is that historically high or low? Well, uh, I think generally um, depends on real dollars and wars, but... Um, Are we at war? We're at war in Afghanistan. We're at war around the world with uh, active... Uh, so you threat. agree with me, we're at war in Afghanistan, we're at war around the world, so when you look at spending on defense, every senator should be aware of the fact we're still at war. Do you agree with that? I, I, I'm sorry, what? Your Do question? you agree that every senator, every member of Congress should be wide-eyed and understanding that when you vote on a defense budget, we're at war? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Now, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about statements you made. You've explained this a bit. You said the Jewish lobby intimidates a lot of people up here. I'm not an Israeli senator. I'm a United States senator. Mm -hmm. This pressure makes us do dumb things at times. You said the Jewish lobby should not have been, that term shouldn't have been used. It should have been some other term. Name one person, in your opinion, who's intimidated by the Israeli lobby in the United States Senate. Well, uh, first. Uh, Name I, one. I don't know. Well, why would you say it? I didn't have in mind a specific it's person. A pro do you agree it's a provocative statement? That I can't think of a more provocative thing to say about the relationship between the United States and Israel and the Senate or the Congress than what you said. Name one dumb thing we've been goaded into doing because of the pressure from the Israeli or Jewish lobby. I have already stated that I regret the, the terminology. But you said back then it makes us do dumb things. You can't name one senator intimidated. Now give me one example of the dumb things that we're pressured to do up here. We were talking in that uh, interview uh, about the Middle East, uh, about positions, about so, Israel. So and give me an example of where we've been intimidated by the Israeli Jewish lobby to do something dumb regarding the Mideast, Israel, or anywhere else? Well, I can't give you an example. Thank you. Do you agree with me you shouldn't have said something like that? Yes, I do. I've already said that. Now...